show week without another storm. Our Valerie Pritchett is there today. She's enjoying things. Valerie, good afternoon to you. Thank you for being here with us on the noon show. What do you have today? Well, I'll tell you, a little early for me, James, but I am so happy I am here. Rain not deterring people from coming out. And guess what? I am hanging out with these very busy, busy bees. So we're going to give you a lesson in things all about bees. And joining me now is Charlie Vorsick, and he knows bees inside and out. So, Charlie, first of all, tell us, how important are bees? Well, bees are very important. There's over 100 crops that are insect pollinated and of those insects honeybees take make up about 80 percent of the pollination how many beekeepers are there in pennsylvania pennsylvania we have about 6500 beekeepers and uh, the average most probably 90 percent of those have 10 10 colonies or less they're all small beekeepers all small beekeepers and tell us what we can do to help keep the bee population going well it's always good to plant pollinator friendly plants for that's everybody can do that and, and be careful with your if you need to use a pesticide you want to make sure that it's on something that, that doesn't attract bees as well yes and we can see those bees are very busy but all that hard work they make products come on Devin we're going to show you a little bit about the products that these bees make as we head over to check them out and you can see there are plenty of products that bees make. Share a little bit about that. So we have we have honey from across the state. <laughs> we have honey from beekeepers across Pennsylvania. So you'll see a lot of different labels here. It's from extracted liquid honey to crystallized honey to beeswax. We have comb honey. A little bit of everything. I know, and I even see like you have lip gloss, we have candles, we have, check this out, Devin. We also have soap. And you were talking about extraction. We have an extraction coming up, don't we? Oh, we do. We have a, we, we, the Pennsylvania State Beekeepers is sponsoring a celebrity con extracting contest, and you're on one of the teams. <laughs> oh, boy. We have four teams right now. We have the Fish Commission, we've got a some representatives from the Democrats and some representatives from the Republicans. So we're, it's a pretty diverse group and it'll be on Thursday at 11 o'clock in the small arena. It's just for the fun of it. It is, it's gonna be a great time. And also thanks for joining me. And also I have a quiz for you, James. Can you hear me? So my question to you is how many flowers does it take to make one pound of honey? How many flowers for a pound of honey? Ooh, uh, 12? <laughs> nope, that would be 2 million. <laughs> 2 million, James, not 12. You were, you were way down way, on way that way off. Count. Way, you, way you, down. You can't quiz me on this kind of so, stuff, Valerie. Meantime, meantime, I'm gonna enjoy myself mm, with some honey. And we will have more for you tonight at the farm show so you don't want to miss it. I'll see you at five. Well, not you, James, actually. I'll see everybody else at five. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side of my screen. Now, Valerie, a better question for me would be how many of those honey sticks could I eat? <laughs> and the answer to that is definitely 12. 12 honey sticks? You know what, James? Since you've been so good, I'm going to bring you home some honey sticks. I'll bring them back to the station. I would appreciate that. All right, Valerie, good luck with the extracting. Don't get stung. <laughs> bees involved in that just their honeycomb and I have to get it out and put it in a jar so oh. this is going to be interesting Jackson Chastain is going to be with me doing it oh what so a we'll team. see how it goes all right I'm rooting for you thank you so much for being with <laughs> us here today have fun a plan